right, so the stream started. G'day guys, it's Jake here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to block client forwarding rules inside of Office 365 or Exchange. Um, what client forwarding rules are is that uh, a setting inside of Exchange where all of an email that a mailbox gets gets forwarded to another recipient. This could be both internal or external. So say an email comes into my mailbox, it would automatically get forwarded to my Gmail or my, I don't know, Yahoo Mail if I wanted to. There are legitimate uses for this, but for security reasons, because this is a common vector of attack for data breaches and with, you know, the new data breach laws that are coming out everywhere, GDPR and the Australian ones and stuff, it's a good practice just to have this block by default. So if you don't need to automatically forward emails, it's good to just have them all blocked. Nobody can set it up. All of your staff can't set it up or whatever. So basically what we're gonna do is if you have an enterprise SKU of Office 365, you can go through the security and compliance center and set this up. So how to get there is you go into the admin, go into the admin areas and go to security and compliance. So this will take the actual legwork out of it and it'll do it for you. Inside of the Office 365 Secure Score section, you can scroll down and find the part that says Disable Client Folding Rules to External Domains. If we wait a minute. We're also going to show you how to do it manually. So this will also work inside if you have an on-premise exchange, you can set this up the same. So see this, Enable Client Folding Rules Block. If we click that, it'll give us a description of what it's doing. If you hit Apply, it'll do it all for you but we're also gonna show you how to do it manually. So to do it manually, if you go to the exchange section inside of the Office 365 Admin Center, go Admin Center's Exchange, this will open up EAC. So this is the same view that you get when you're actually running an on-premise exchange. If you have 2013 or 2016, you should be familiar with the Exchange Admin Center um, where you can set things up for Exchange which it's the same on Office 365. So to actually create these rules, we go to mail flow and we want to create a new rule. Now you can, they've got these rules by default built in. We go, we want to create a new custom rule. So we're just going to go create new rule and we're going to need to give it a name. So um, block client forwarding and see how it only allows us to do one. If we scroll down to the bottom, we've got more options. We can click that and now we can have multiple conditions. So what we want to do is we want to say if the sender is external or internal. So we want to say if the sender is inside the organization and also the, send, the um, recipient is located where is it? Oh, this one. So we've added the condition. And if the recipient is external, so we're still going to allow client forwarding rules inside the organization using this. And we want to go if the message type is an auto forward. Whoa. Where is it? And oh, the message. This is weird. And the 
message properties. Ah, include the message type. We want auto forward. So if it's an auto forward, there it is. Took me a minute to find that. So if the message, so pretty much what this is, this is going to apply the rule. If the message is located from inside the organization, the recipient is located outside the organization and the message type is an auto forward. What we want to do is reject the message and then include the explanation. Um, auto forwarding forwarding of emails is blocked in your organization contact your administrator so it's going to reject that uh, thing the email so if this somebody does get in sets this up or somebody internally sets it up it's going to send a bounce back to them like an NDR and it's going to say auto forwarding of your emails is blocked inside your organization contact your administrator so then if they have a valid rule um, reason for this we can look at it uh, I'll just set that as low we want it to be enforced Um, and that's it. So now we hit save. And it'll do its little dance. Oh, I've just checked out the stream. We've got one person watching live. G'day, how are you? Hopefully this helps you. So yeah, now we can see. We've also set the audit severity, so then at least we can see it. If we did look through the audit logs, it'll be there. And that's basically it. So that was how to set up your own client forwarding rules to block uh, client forwarding. Any questions or anything, let me know in the comments. If you have any suggestions or anything you're interested in that you think would be good for another video, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.